my name is Alexis Riley. I'm 17 and a senior at Washington High School. I've been a member of the Youth Leadership Program for four years now. I was nominated my freshman year to be a part of the subgroup. Um, it's called LRP, which stands for the Leadership and Resiliency Program. Um, we focus on three main things, um, those being resi resiliency groups, uh, community service, and adventure activities. Um, in middle school, I was not known to be the best student. Um, I didn't make you know, very great decisions, and I lacked a lot of responsibility. Um, freshman year in high school, I was nominated shortly after my first trimester, um, and it really helped me you know, focus on a lot more positive things and um, you know, focus more on my schoolwork and getting a lot of things that should be focused on done. Um, I have seen firsthand how the group has helped a lot of other students. Um, like fellow group members and one in particular she wasn't really she's very shy and didn't really you know how to know how to speak up for herself and stand up for herself around others um, she did confide in me and mentioned to me one time how students you know weren't very nice to her and even mentioned things how like during lunch they'd throw stuff at her and throw food at her and different things like that and um, one of my friends and I actually we all had early bird together so we all normally eat breakfast in the morning and we noticed you know, every morning she was eating by herself. So we stepped up and ate breakfast with her and just kind of talked to her and you know, asked her how her day was going and just tried to make her feel more comfortable. Um, and over the years I have seen, she has really grown and is really good with other students, like anything from just talking to someone else in the hallway to even interacting and in-class discussions. Um, and I have noticed she is a lot more happier now and she just seems like Everything's a lot better than the, the first time we met. Um, in LRP, we have weekly meetings. We meet every Tuesday during lunch um, at school, just in whichever teachers lets us use their classroom or whoever has an available classroom at the time. Um, we talk about anything from how our day is going to what service project we're working on at that time. Um, we do service projects, we fundraise, we do adventure activities, um, just anything under those categories. The students, we're the ones who do all of the planning. We do everything from making flyers to you know, calling businesses and finding out critical information about the project that's coming up. And that does help us you know, build our leadership skills and really puts a lot of responsibility on us that I think is very needed. Um, we also do adventure activities, and the thing is you have to participate in the service project to be able to be a part of the adventure activity. Uh, my favorite service project was when we um, donated a lot of like non-perishable food items and hygiene products to the Match Phillips Center. Uh, the way we did it is we hosted and organized a movie day um, at a like community center. It's called Groundswell. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that. Um, but we invited all of the younger youth leadership people, um, like the kids who are like in middle school, um, and we used the the items like the food and the hygiene products as the admission to get in so you had to bring something you know to be able to come in um, and then everything that we collected from that we then donated to the center and it was just a really good experience we got to go on a tour and just see how everything works um, and just kind of experience we even got to you know look in the pantry and just see all the different things from like diapers to cookies, just everything. It was just full of so much stuff you wouldn't even think would be in there. Um, we also last year did a, a, we volunteered at the Ronald McDonald House. We cooked them a meal. We just, we made um, like walking tacos, but it was just really fun being able to go there and like meet with all the families and, you know, eat dinner with them and um, just cook for them. It was just really cool just seeing how all of that works. Um, my favorite adventure activity was over this last summer. We went paintballing, which was a really crazy experience, and it hurts really bad. <laughs> um, but it was really fun, and there's just so many things that you or me, you know, I would not experience without this this organization, this group, and it's just really cool knowing that, you know, just by being a part of something, like, there's just so many different things we're able to do, and, like, me personally, I, I just love, like, helping people out, like, just seeing something that I did make someone else happy is just, it just makes my whole entire day, um, and it's just really, there's so many other students in the group as well, you, especially me, you know, being a senior, I've just seen so many people just mature and just grow over the years and the group I do believe had a lot to do with that and it just really helps us step up and take responsibility for things that we're doing. Um, 
Yeah, and um, I am like, <laughs> I'm really grateful for the youth leadership program and especially LRP. And the staff is just really amazing. They really do care about us and them showing how much they're concerned about what's going on in our lives really means a lot. I um, mean, I have definitely enjoyed being a part of such an amazing thing. Um, and I'm really sad to say, you know, this is my last year, um, but I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. And I do recommend a lot of other students, you know, to take advantage of the opportunity because it's, ex it's an experience you'll never forget.